the N64 game, Golden Eye 007, is without question one of the greatest video games that ever been made. Shouts out to the developer Rare, because it not only made one of the most iconic video games of all time, but it made a video game back then that is very fun to play, and it's a video game that you still enjoy even to this day. Man, I cannot believe it's been nearly 25 years since this video game was released back then. And since this is a movie tie-in game, it's based on events from the 1995 film The Same Name. And so James Bond, he has to go through a series of levels to stop a criminal syndicate from using the solid weapon GoldenEye. You know, I had a lot of fond memories playing this video game as a kid. It's certainly one of the most interesting first-person shooter games I played back then. And just the mere fact that this video game actually is very iconic for its time. I mean, we have the MEAI, which was great at the time. We have the awesome music. And sure, the visuals by today was terrible. But back then, you know, I was impressed because of what Rare was able to do with the N64, which was a less powerful console than its future counterparts. You know, one thing that... I give credit to is that everybody worked on this game because it actually took them more than two and a half years to do development on this video game. It was a long development process. And actually, this whole video game is pretty much considered the gold standard of how first person sure is supposed to play. Had it not been for this video game, then future first person shooters would have never been what they are today. Still though, this is a fun video game. It's still fun to pick up even today. And granted, while it hasn't aged all that well, this is a video game that should be remembered for all time simply because it was gaming history being made. A first person shooter on the N64, whoever thought it worked out, but it actually did. And credit to Rare because if they didn't do this game, then we would have never gotten the awesome James Bond video game that this one is. Still though, at the end of the day, if you somehow n never played this cult classic, check it out because I think it is well worth your time. It's crazy to believe that this video game was almost not released because Nintendo had stopped funding the project simply because they thought this video game had too many bugs. So in comes the developer Rare and well, they continue funding and they saved this video game from being canceled. Not just that though, but two of the music composers of this video game, Grant Kerhop and Grammy Northgate, hopefully I'm saying that right, they did an awesome job with the music. The music is legendary, it's iconic. And not just that though, the multiplayer of this video game, Grant Kerhop has said it took them six weeks to develop it. They thought of it as a afterthought. And granted, I'm glad they included it because I have a lot of memories with most of the player. When I was a kid, I always discussed with my friends who gets to play the Bond villain, who gets the golden gun. There's a lot of memories from my childhood from that. And not just that though, but this game is so legendary. What else can I say about it? Interesting thing though, there was going to be a remaster, but it never happened because Nintendo, Microsoft, and MGM had acquired Rare back in 2002. And they just couldn't come to a licensing agreement. I know that's all the developer Rare. They made a lot of great video games over the years. Some of them I hold near and dear in my heart. And they'll always be known as being the developer who made some of the best N64 games back then. Still though, at the end of the day, this is a video game I had a lot of fond memories with. And this is a game that is... It's not just iconic, but it should be remembered as being one of the most influential video games of all time. I'm giving this video game an AI 10. You know, not only is this the pioneer of the first person shooter, but also this video game left an enduring impression in the video game culture. Even nearly 25 years later, if I had N64, I will go back and play this video game. That's how legendary this game really is. I've talked to people over the years about this video game. They had a lot of fond memories of it. And I heard nothing but positive things 
of this video game throughout the years. Still though, it would have been great if we actually get a remaster one day, you know, with improved ME, AI, and graphics, but I know that's most likely never going to happen because of the licensing agreement and all that. I didn't pan out back then. Nonetheless, though, this is, without question, one of the greatest video games I ever played. And simply, Rare had made a brilliant video game back in the late 90s. And that's my review of the video game GoldenEye 007. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section. And let me know what you think about this video game. In fact, what are your memories from playing this video game over the years? Alright, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.